If I were a poet, with incredible words I would sing across the page, scrawled by my own hand in symbols archaic. Like hummingbirds, they would fly, soaring into your mind, through your eyes and ears, with profound intensity and deep abiding love. If I were a poet, every word from my lips would carry music. Every whisper would be true. Kikuyu women would carry me like water on their heads, in huge, brimming vessels, wearing colorful robes, walking barefoot down dusty trails. If I were a poet, even the birds would recognize me. They would land on my outstretched finger like Whitman's cardboard butterfly and accompany me with song as I wove my tapestry of words. Words that would change the world into something somehow better and more beautiful. If I were a poet, I would wander between the soldiers fighting into no man's land. With my head held high, I would put fear aside. The bombs would stop falling. The bullets would stop flying. They would simply fall gently to earth like the autumn leaves of red, orange, and gold. If I were a poet, I would put no man asunder. I would stoop for every child, show kindness to every woman. And with God as my witness, I would love with every breath and every step of my soul. This one's for my son. <sighs> Waiting for the moon to fall and crush the earth and crush me. And on a scale of one to 10, how would you describe your pain? because you can turn those knobs to 11 until the amplifiers scream feedback for mercy. Know this, these words are garbage. Turds that overflow the sewers and puke from my mouth, flooding the streets with stench. And God is an asshole who keeps punching me in the gut as I wrench dry heaves until there's nothing left. Well, Fuck him. I did my miserable best to serve his greatness. So what does it prove as I crawl on my knees over sharp stones and burning embers, blinded by smoke and fumes, searching for light? I watched always with a careful eye to care for my gifts, changed endless diapers, soothed the fevers, did everything in my power to cherish and heal and guide. Am I supposed to be grateful now for this unbearable pain that crushes me between planets? Should I be thankful for the gift of 25 years when all I want is just one more moment? Should I kiss God's ass for taking it away? Why should God care about me, a stupid, stupid man who always believed that love was the answer to everything? And maybe my motives were not pure enough. And I wasted too many chances being a selfish fool. As if my sorrow means anything at all amidst all the suffering souls of earth. When the moon fell, There was no veil of tears, no lament of clouds, no ocean tides to rise and ebb. The seas did not boil. There was no idle wind. If there was anything all, it was silence. Silence that was numb and heavy, as cold as a rock spinning mindlessly through space or a snowflake falling through the sky. And if there was anything at all left to see or anyone left to witness, there was only the dark nothingness of endless night and a billion, billion stars plus one. Goodbye, my son. Thank you.